Lead us in this one. agreement that I put together on the joint uh, recreation facility between the city and the county. This is an interlocal agreement. Of course you all have not expressed to me what the terms were that you want in this agreement so I was just putting something together that you could look at. Tonight I think we had a meeting with the county uh, and, and three of our council members were there with the building and grounds committee and they expressed their concern was they didn't know what we were wanting to propose and they wanted us to wanted you all to meet and decide uh, who's going to own this property uh, are we going to give them some property if so how much property would we give them to build the building <coughs> who would build the building uh, what what size building are we looking to build and then who would operate it uh, and i'm not sure what the operation cost is but i think steve has some numbers on the, on the cost of the yearly operation well, is that something we would do or would we want the county to help in that and then also we're going to have the issue of who's going to maintain this building if we build a 20 million dollar facility uh, there'll be some maintenance involved with that so will we split that with the county or exactly what is the proposal so the agreement that you have that i drafted uh, indicates that we will give up to 18 acres to the county which they could use to build this facility it would be their responsibility uh, to put the funds together whether that be a tax increase or however they decide to do that to build the build the building itself uh, we would then maintain it and operate it hire the staff and, and employ the people who kept the facility running and that we would equally split the cost of the ongoing maintenance of the building between the city and the county uh, i've looked at some other agreements that implement a committee of a few council members and a few commissioners that oversee this and they make decisions that are recommended to the council and the commission and so that may be something we want to look at as well i'm just looking for guidance tonight and if you vote on something i think we're working with the top timeline august 25th is that correct is that is the deadline to put this on a referendum and i think went back up i think that was the whole idea was to put this on a referendum to have a county-wide uh, vote on whether or not they the, the county citizens wanted to bear the cost of this building and so that's what we were asking the county to do initially uh, in order to do that though we have to have the language submitted to the state by august 25th or, uh, the state has to approve it by august 25th no, it, it has to be to the local files for the file approval by the state so and the county commission has a meeting coming up monday night i've heard that they may bring this up under old business or they may consider this if we pass something here tonight so it's not it's not a dead issue uh, and they also have the opportunity to call a special call meeting just like we do but i can get a new agreement drafted if you want changes uh, and we can have it available based on your verbal motion tonight if you have any questions i'll sit down i got one question yes so the county is going to take the tax dollars if this is passed, 10 cent tax increase to pay the debt service on building the building on city donated property. That's what the agreement I drafted right. would indicate. The city will be responsible for the day to day operation expense and half of the maintenance. Correct. Light, water, and phone. Correct. Right. And before yes sir i was at both meetings the county meeting and the grounds buildings meeting and what occurred was less than enthusiasm there was even a comment that the city that one member would not support this unless we have a unanimous decision and that the city has problems within its own management in carrying this out it was obvious at the meeting that it wasn't presented well. I've been a supporter of this ever since Councilman Curley proposed it. 
I looked at it even before he proposed it. I even drove over and looked at the one that we copied. And we were going to copy this last weekend and looked at the facility. And to my way of thinking, that this doesn't stand any chance of passing right now at the county level, especially the way this is proposed, because they don't have the kind of funds. And I don't think they're going to ask the county members to put up that kind of money. And I have serious doubts that we have the leadership within City Hall now to put this together and carry this out. So while this is a worthwhile project, I am not going to support this. I believe that this is an agenda item that should be looked at by the next council that follows this council. And maybe they could go back and look and see what Rutherford had because it was put together along with the support and who was willing to contribute and help us with this and it was a whole different ball game a year ago and how it was put together than it is today and what's here today I'm, I'm not going to support this have you had any discussion with the county attorney mayor's there no there's not would you like to make a motion absolutely yes sir I'd like to uh, make a motion to, to approve the interlocal agreement between the city of Crossville and Cumberland County for the joint recreation facility that we were originally drawn up. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second that. I have a motion and a second. Councilor, have you had any discussion with the county attorney over this agreement? We did. We had a meeting, uh, Sally and I. City manager attended a meeting with the county attorney and the county mayor uh, to talk about terms of the agreement. Of course, what came out of that meeting was that they wanted this joint committee meeting that we went to. Uh, and so I've not had any discussion with him further on the terms of the agreement. My indication from our meeting that we had was that once we've proposed something, that they would consider it at that point. They've not really given us any suggestions. Now, there was a lot of statements made, but I don't know if there was any concrete suggestions from
Roll call vote, please. Councilman Sousa? No. Councilman Wyatt? Aye. Mayor Pro Tem Harris? Aye. Councilman Perry? Aye. Mayor Mayberry? Aye. Motion carries. Next item on.